1950s was the time of diverse watches. And if you never heard the name Tudor before, the first diver watch by Tudor was introduced in 1954. And then while there have been many iterations of diver watches, it wasn't until 2018 we saw the first GMT by Tudor. The impression and image of Tudor used to be a brand that most would pick if they didn't have access to Rolex or couldn't afford Rolex. There were many reasons for this impression and quite possibly the intent of the manufacturer when created was also the same as well. Especially when you remember that Tudor is actually owned by Rolex too. A few reasons to quote that allowed this impression to develop was that Tudor's first diver watch came with the same name as Rolex diver watch that is Submariner. And then it also had the same dial layout, even the same dial hands, yet at fraction of cost than Rolex. This was the past, and if you follow the latest releases by Tudor, things have changed completely, especially ever since Tudor introduced their Black Bay line in 2012. And then later, after they unveiled their in-house caliber, Tudor are truly starting to make their own identity, where you do get a similar vibe as Rolex, but a completely different experience, size and overall joy. Black Bay GMT was unveiled in 2018 and if you notice the bezel, we have on offer the Pepsi bezel. Interestingly, this first ever GMT by Tudor released in 2018, again aligned with the timing for Rolex to unveil GMT Master 2 in the same Pepsi bezel. So while with Tudor, we do have a completely different watch, yet there is a vibe and inspiration from Rolex that still exists. And while I will highlight in this video a few other aspects too, I will do a separate video to compare both Pepsi GMTs in a few weeks time. As we said Pepsi bezel, let's start with it. I quoted in my GMT master Pepsi video, I do absolutely love this color combination and it just works very well both functionally and then also aesthetically. You have the lower half colored in red to represent daytime hours of the day and then the upper half is blue to show the darkness hours of the day or let's say of the night or morning. The color combination is interesting one where you find the red as bright enough to have the pop factor and the blue is dull and subtle and can many times look to be black. The bezel is not ceramic and I personally consider it a bit of letdown because having aluminum bezel means that your watch face is not dent or ding proof and with age, not only the bezel will show wear marks, it will also fade its color. The patina over time from the bezel can be a positive and the bezel material combined with the font easily carries a vintage vibe. Now since Tudor didn't have a GMT model ever before, it's safe to say that the inspiration here is again Rolex and this time GMT Master 1675. The bezel is bi-directional and the sound of clicks is consistent. Yet also, there is no as such wiggle in the bezel, which is indeed very impressive. Looking at the dial, the watch continues with its vintage vibe, so don't expect to see flashy or blingy characters here, because the texture of the dial is matte, and it does maintain the overall balance of the watch design. The matte texture is not similar to what you typically see, and upon closer inspection, you can see that the surface roughness is executed consistently to make the dial absorb the light from all directions. The contrast of dial, complemented by hour markers that are also filled with luminous material, works very well and legibility of the watch is simply on point. The GMT hand is beautifully red and the shade of red matches with the bezel perfectly. The bezel comes with crystal having a dome profile and I like the character it adds. Although it does also mean that upon banging the watch to any object, the first watch component to come into contact and take the damage is crystal. The watch case comes with polished sides and there's very elegant beveling done on the lugs, which also showcases polished finish to give a contrast with the top surfaces of the lugs that are brushed. The overall top profile of the lugs along with the bracelet are fully brushed and this strengthens the tool watch nature of this GMT as opposed to Rolex CMT that comes with polished center links on the bracelet. The brushing quality on the case and the bracelet is very basic and there's no intricate polishing or surface treatment, so expect no miracles or magics here. This however aligns with the tool nature of the watch and also with the price that this GMT carries. 
the watch comes with closed case pack to house inside the movement engineered and manufactured in house by Tudor caliber MT5652 the caliber meets today's benchmark numbers for the power reserve and offers 70 hours of power the movement beats at 4 hertz to offer the chronometer certified accuracy which is a welcome feature the watch comes with screwed on crown and upon unscrewing it the first click allows you to set the local time using our hand and pulling the crown one more step back will allow you to set the GMT time with this new movement however there is still no quick set for the date and you have to keep moving the hour hand twice to give the date one single increment I do feel that this is a missed opportunity for Tudor and while the movement is in house it is again inspired by Rolex which also don't offer quick set for date function on their GMT references the watch stays true to its tool characters and comes with the loom that is fully functional bright and also very consistent not only we have seconds hand loomed in addition to hour and minute hands but also the GMT hand which is also longer in length and has smaller arrow to make it easy to distinguish from our hand that being said the bezel is old school here and has no loom on offer and accordingly in the dark the GMT hand will only be AM and PM indicator as you can't read the second time zone now due to bezel being completely blind under the macro I can see some dust and dirt sitting right on top of our marker which is a little off-putting given that this is a brand new watch featured in this video there are then further scratches on the hour hand but they can't be spotted with naked eye but this shouldn't be an excuse the minute hand also comes with some minor dust on it but it doesn't look as bad as the hour hand there's also a superficial scratch I can see but nothing of major note the seconds hand again has dirt and if you can spot it it's weird that here a dirt particle appears to be sticking on the side of seconds hand and not on top the joint is not only quite basic and lacks any decoration there's a minor surface deformity too which is of course not ideal I can see scratch marks on our index too and here the scratches are a little deeper than I would consider acceptable the finish is also just average with no bevels or chamfers on offer the text and the dial are crisp and there is no flaw on site similar is the case with the text for Tudor and its logo and the quality here is overall excellent the border for the paint on GMT hand isn't the best executed but it actually looks better than what I've seen on some GMT masters from Rolex on the wrist the 41 mm GMT bears true to its size and does have a considerable wrist presence especially due to taller lug to lug of 50 mm my wrist size is 6.5 inches and wrist span is 55 mm so this watch case with lug to lug of 50 mm does not flare out of my wrist but it also doesn't look small I personally don't mind bigger watches so it works very well for me the case thickness is 15 mm so it will feel much more present on the wrist due to chunkier build the all brushed case and the bracelet however makes it easy for this watch to stay under the radar and it does not have that in your face look to it the case is thick but thanks to curved profile of lugs and the way they taper down the watch hugs the wrist beautifully despite the fact that my wrist size is on a smaller size for this watch that being said I don't think you should consider this watch if your wrist size is smaller than 16 inches because I'm almost at the borderline for this watch with my 6.5 inches wrist the bracelet comes all brushed and has rivets on the sides which I do personally like particularly because they maintain the balance of the vintage vibe that this watch offers in totality there's a flip lock safety clasp on offer and while there is no quick bracelet length adjustment on the go there are micro adjustments in the clasp to give you that snug fit and allow for wrist size changes with the seasons Tudor Black Bay GMT an offering from the manufacturer that was always considered to be a lesser expensive option before you eventually step into Rolex but with the new Black Bay GMT Tudor has offered the watch that although maintains the Rolex vibe but offers an experience that is different enough that you can basically own both Rolex and Tudor GMTs and you will not be bored you have a 41 mm case size fully brushed bracelet that resembles more to oyster bracelet than it does to Jubilee on GMT Masters comes with Pepsi bezel having different shades of color than you see on GMT Master Pepsi 
and then there's a new movement to offer 70 hours of power reserve. It is subtle with matte black dial and less fleshy non-ceramic bezel and then it's loud with larger case size and chunkier form. And here is the best part. It is actually available for purchase at or close to retail price too.